All right, welcome back. Here we are. This is No One Survived. Going on our live stream. I'm working on getting my windows organized here a little bit so I can have all three streams on my screen at the same time. We're streaming on YouTube, Rumble, and Twitch all at the same time. So I'm trying to get to where I can see the chats for all three. That's just kind of hard to do. And if anybody chats, I'd like to be able to see it and respond. Rumble is taking longer than the rest to connect as usual. I don't know why it does that. Looks like YouTube is live. And Twitch is live. We're good to go. Rumble will catch up on its own. All right, let's see where we're at here. We are on day 26, year two, autumn, 54 degrees, 925 in the evening. Let's see where we're at on our skills. Okay. Still need to get caught up on metallurgy here a little bit. Cooking and agriculture I'm not too worried about, and firearms will come in as we use the guns more. Weapon crafting is good. Okay. We need to see about building. A. Electric furnace if we can. Do we have that? Okay, we don't have the electric furnace yet, so let's see what we need to get that. The blueprint, three electronic components. open stuff when you have the hammer. Alright, we're looking for electric furnace. There it is. Machining table we can get rid of. Give that away or sell it. Got two sewing machines. We can get rid of one of those. Thermal generator. Two of those. Yep. That's okay for now. Um, we're going to put our electric furnace one right here for storage and we will need it three electronic components that shouldn't be too hard got plenty of those I guess I should have kept that in my backpack after all Let's see if we can open that sucker right now There we go. And that gets us to steel ingots. Steel crafting. We gotta grab that book. Alright, we need steel ingots for the chemical lab and the advanced chemical lab. No, we need glass for the chemical lab. Okay, so we need the ingots for the advanced. But the chemical lab gets us to gunpowder. So we need to get steel ingots and gunpowder. That's kind of next on the agenda here. Because we need the gunpowder for the bullets. 
All right, so. Oops. Might help if we have our hammer. We now have electric furnace. Right there. Need silver, aluminum, and iron ingots. See, our metallurgy, is it all the way? I believe it is. No, it's not. We're going to have to go learn that. Okay, we need to go grab a bunch of wood and put on here. One thing I learned in single player, which was actually just before doing this, <laughs> is it's not really worth it to stand there to learn that stuff. Whoa, were we full? Oh! Well, dang. Guess we gotta unload some stuff first here. It's much easier just to grab one gun, or one or two guns. Well, with needing a full level, we might need like four guns. And just go trade them for, and get the training. Alright, let's put those here for now. Oh, I forgot to put that backpack back in there too. Get that in there. Okay. Now we got a little space for... Some logs. What is it? Oh. Got that thing down there kind of blocking the way too, didn't we? Now we can grab some logs. That's more like it. Get this sucker burning and just let it go. So we don't have... Oh, well, we had more silver nuggets than that. Oh, we need to make some silver nuggets, I guess. Okay. How many of those can we make here? Bunch. Okay, we'll get those going. Alright. Let's let that sucker burn. Get that bucket out of there. It's in the way. I guess we need to take down this campfire. Now that we have the electric one, this one's kind of in the way. Pot's still good. Now we'll just leave it for now. Not a big deal. Okay, let's see. Trying to get Rumble to. It's like this time Rumble's not wanting to uh, get connected here for us. Yesterday it was YouTube acting weird on the live screen. Today it's Rumble. That's all right. Can always just upload it later off of there. All right, let's see here. Need a crucible and some toolboxes. We have everything or most of what we need here somewhere. Toolboxes, was it two? I think we need some wire. Electrical components. We need more than one, I'm sure. We'll put in that what we have and see what else we need here. 
Okay, more electrical components. Oh, we needed five toolboxes. Three more toolboxes. One, two, three. Get that done at least. Okay. Uh, six more electrical wire advanced parts. There's four more wire. There's six, okay. Now we need advanced parts. There's four. And there may be some in some of these bags here. Crucible, okay. Got a lot of these autos. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, car spare parts. I'm assuming we use those for making car repair kits. Oh, yeah, okay. We're going to be real close here, other than the ingots. Three more, uh, six more electronic components, and oh, that was 20 advanced parts. Nine more advanced parts. Wow. Yeah, if we ever get to where we can make the, uh, oh, there it is, nine more, perfect. Well, that uh, empties us out on those for the most part. Okay, six more electronic components, and then all we'll need is nuggets after that. Six more electronic components. Okay, now all we need is the ingots. Nice. Okay, and some of that stuff there, stuff we're going to be trading later. This stuff back. Oh, we got a piece of glass right there. That got to remember that. So we need that for the medical table or the chemical lab, the standard chemical lab. All right, ironing gets nine. Aluminum two and silver two. Okay, just need nine iron and two silver. We're not gonna be too far from it. that silver or aluminum? Aluminum. Alright, we're going to be very close now. Two silver is all we need. Alright, we need to build a gas generator to put that motor in and help charge our batteries faster. 
Let's see. Find out, can we build one now, or do we need... Oh, we sure can. Nice. See what we need for that. Well, we know we need that, that motor. Let's go ahead and get it put in there. That thing's way too big to keep storing it. Some of the stuff you build just to keep from storing the parts. Simple parts 10, toolbox 1. Toolbox. Simple parts 4. 8. Nine, ten. Okay. Ten electrical wire. Ooh. Five planks. Five. Ten electrical wire. This one may be cutting it close. Of course, we probably have some strewn around on all these others. Oh, no. Nine. Ten. Nice. Oh, this is going to be close right here. Iron ingot, ten. Uh-oh. <laughs> Silver ingot, two. Hold on, we'd had a bunch of iron. Was it enough for ten? There's six. Okay. Just gotta wait on those. And we'll have our fuel generator. Then we need we are going to go to the industrial, the large industrial area over there and get batteries very soon. I've already done that on the single player, which by the way, if you're not watching the single player videos I'm making, this week I just finished making several really good ones. Don't know if the quality of the video is good. <laughs> I can't claim that necessarily, but the adventure. Good adventures, I guess. We went over to the this industrial area over here, which is definitely seems like the largest one in the entire map. And it's just loaded with the orange industrial batteries and green ones. That in the single player game... I came back and I filled up three and a half battery banks with those orange batteries. Which I guess, with that in mind, we can go ahead and get those in place and ready to go. We may not be able to build them until we get back because we also get most of these other parts we need to build them over there. So that's three toolboxes, three inverters, and 45 electric wires. Three toolboxes. We've got inverter somewhere. Go ahead and put this stuff in. Okay, definitely need more electric wire. Let's see, where was those inverters? We may have a bunch in the car too. 
Or truck. Need to go check the bags in there. I don't remember if we cleaned those out and emptied them already or not. Was there simple parts on that? 9, 18, okay, simple and electronic. So we need to go ahead and get these uh, simple parts while we're at it. Some electronics, there we go. There's an inverter, one of them. Okay, more simple parts, more wire. Oh, more electron. Okay. Yeah, this is going to put us real close on these also. Oh, there's three. Okay. Oh, man. This might actually finish a couple of them. Planks. Electronic converters. Or electronic parts. Oh. There we go. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, this one, seven electronic components, and this one needs components and electric wire. We need 15 planks. It's going to be pretty close. Okay, that one just needs electronic components. This one needs some wire and electronic components. All right, let's double check for those ingredients. Probably get a lot more in here if we were to kind of arrange these a little better. That's a little better. Advanced Medical Lab. That we need to pull that out so we know we have it. We'll be hunting all over for it and can't find it later. Alright. Electrical wire and electronic components. There's some more components right there. Double check these. Iron ingot. So we need to blue move all those blueprints over to the blueprints box. Okay. Finish that one. There we go. All right, and that one's real close, and we should get electronic components and wire when we go over there for the batteries. And actually, we may have some right here somewhere. We've got stuff all over the place. Wire. Let's move these blueprints. Later we're going to need them and they're going to be all over the place and we can't find them and get frustrated. I've never done that before. Okay, five wire. Nope. Two more wire and seven more electronic components. Nice. Silver ingots there. Where would we need iron ingots? Was it over here? The 
Yep, still need nine more. Oh, toolbox. Where did we... I'm going to pick up the toolbox. I don't know. Okay. We'll be in good shape when we come back with all the batteries. We'll have somewhere to put them. Spent a ton of time getting backpacks and emptying them out for this trip. Yep. For the most part, they're empty. Other than some food and water. Whoa. Man, these things fly around. Like there's no tomorrow on multiplayer. They don't do that on single player. I don't know why. Where'd those gloves go? Sure, they're there somewhere. I'm just going blind. That's crazy. Thing flew like crazy. Okay, we'll check some more here just to make sure. We need to make sure this we have as much space available as possible before we head over there. Yep. That place is loaded with batteries. And other parts, too. <laughs> okay, well, we might as well go ahead and check them all right quick. Is that the one we... Oh. There's the gloves. That was weird. Thought we had checked the top row, and I guess we. I was actually checking the third row there, wasn't I? Okay, let's check the top row. Put the gas in the truck. We're not taking all of this. I gotta put those backpacks over there away for safekeeping. Alright, let's go put away some of this stuff. Now I'm going to put the magazines there. Because we just got to get going. Forty four Magnum ammo. Five, five, six. I need to start a box of stuff we're going to trade. Five, five, six. Empty bottles. No, that don't go there. Empty bottles go in here. Clean, 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 clean. It is autumn. Soon it's going to be winter. 
We're going to need some different clothes to take with us. Good chance we could actually burn through a lot of this right here while we're over there because it's going to take a long time. So we're going to leave the food and water and beer in there. Okay. Let's just check the bottom row here and I think we're done checking bags. They don't fly away on us. Or if we don't punch them away. Okay, one thing of gas. More gas. 9mm ammo. We need to take that with us. Can leave the food. The repair kits is probably okay. What if we move this? It'll fit in here. We have one that has our fuel and stuff in it. Ooh. Hey, there's a water bottle. Um, hmm. What do we do with all that fuel? Can we take this one and we'll leave this fuel here at the base. Take this inside and we'll put these four bottles into one of these crates. Because once we get our generator running, we'll be able to use that. Truck's ready. Now all we gotta do is get us ready. Where does that just go? Better be kidding me that it didn't just disappear completely. There it is. Way under there. Man, things can fly. And in the multi-dedicated server, it's crazy how things fly like that. All right, we need to put these backpacks. We're going to put... Uh, we're going to put them in here. These good backpacks. If I can quit bouncing around off of them. I think these backpacks have beach balls in them. Those backpacks over there are the ones I replaced with the hiking backpacks. So I don't care if these disappear. They're all empty. Got one right here. Let's um, we can just take it. In. Whoa! Okay, that's a new record. I've never seen it bounce like that off of a 
What did we bounce off of there? There's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty wild. We'll use this one in here for something. Or at least store it there for now. We can always uh, use it in the truck or something later if we need to. Ooh. Before we leave, I need to do one thing. Something I had to make an extra trip for in the single player game. But here's what we do. We take 15 planks and 8 simple parts. Ooh, I hope we got simple parts. Fifteen planks, eight simple parts. Uh oh. Seven, eight. And we get over to the uh, area, we're going to build a cart and use it to loot. And we don't have to make a gazillion trips back to the truck constantly. Helps tremendously, let me tell you. Alright. Iron ingots 10. Alright, let's check on this before we leave. Uh-oh. <laughs> and we need to also dump a bunch of more logs in there before we go, too. Hey, we might be able to get this thing cranking and let it charge the batteries the whole time we're gone. Nice. Power. Connect to bank one. But you know what? No. I'm going to wait till we get back and we have all the orange batteries and then we'll charge them with it. And there's also some solar cells over there and when we get back we should be able to complete the solar array completely full. And it's going to be working better too at that point. And what else did we need here? Two silver ingots. that silver? I believe it is. Let's get some more wood on here. Maybe we can get that thing built right quick before we go too. We definitely need more logs on there. iron ink it right there Let's grab some more logs Still got all those um, planks too. I guess I should go put those in the car just so we don't get weighed down. That's good enough. When we get there, one of the first things we'll do is buy, uh, build the cart. Oh, 
I can leave those there. Didn't realize that was going to put it all the way to 3,000 that quick. Okay. I'm sure we'll get some wire and electronic components over there. Get that finished. Or silver nuggets. Or silver ingots. Are cooking as we speak. I think. Oh no, we're not. We're waiting for the silver nuggets so we can make the silver ingots. We'll get those going right now. Do the aluminum after that. Okay. All right. That'll stay cooking long as it possibly can. Only thing we'd like left to do is to verify all of our preps here. Got two antivirals, two antibiotics, two gastrics, two ointments, two bandages, two med kits. 762, got a bunch, 9mm. We got a bunch, but that's not what we're carrying with us. We need. Uh oh, do we got a 9mm pistol? Or did we give them all away for training? 44 Magnum. Uh oh. Our cooked meat went rotten on us. 44 Magnum. That shoots 9mm. It just won't be a backup gun. Well, I'll be. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is take out the 44. We'll unload it. We'll take off the muzzle suppressor. Put it on the 9mm. Put him there. And the reason I'm doing that is... I really like the 44 for the power, but it only holds seven rounds. Okay, everything except for the machete is in really good shape. Load that up. Check the rifle. Load that up. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Day 27, 54 degrees, 7.30 in the evening. Alright. There's a real good chance we're going to get winter time. Before we get back. I wonder if we can get away with going ahead and putting on the warmer clothes. Let's try it. If we can get away with it, that'll be good. If it's too hot on us, then we may have to take some with us and change later. Worth a try, though. Cold resistance 15 on that and 23 on that. Okay, now we have on pretty good cold weather gear. Alright, let me turn up the brightness here for the stream. Okay. Although I could 
can't see pretty good on the stream or on YouTube videos. It's always darker. So, all right, where are we at here? Fatigue. I believe if we take a little nap here, then eat something, we'll be good to go. This is going to be exciting. I don't know if we're going to make it. No, we're not going to make it all the way through the entire thing on this stream. It takes a very long time to go through that entire industrial park. Especially since we've got so much storage and we can carry a lot with us. Alright, we're going to need to go ahead and load the wood on here again. I want to make sure this is... Keeps going as much as possible. Now let's see, did it actually finish any of those nuggets? Five. All right, we need to craft two silver, okay. Then we'll put these all back in there. Maybe when we get back, we'll have silver nuggets so we can finish that furnace. And then if all this can keep cooking too, that'll be just fine. All right. All right, what do we need now? Food and water, and we're gone. We're going to go do this thing. Got a few nuggets here we should have left. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put them back in there. Those came out of the bags on the car, I think. I forgot to unload them. That's on the... Uh, Okay, let's put the bullet casings over here and the zombie teeth just to store them. We'll need those later. We want to go as empty as we can here. can be efficient. That's enough ammo. Matter of fact, knowing that on the dedicated server there's usually a lot more zombies than there are on the single player. Let's take just a little more with us. Any food in here or not? Nope. Thought we were close enough to that bag to put it in there. Okay, we got food in the car. Got food, water, and drinks in the car. We'll just go top off current thirst while we're here.
All right. Okay. I learned my lesson before. We're not going to drive through the grocery store. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go sneak in the back way. <laughs> have trouble getting through that little park right there for some reason. I don't know why. It's always right there. Okay, so there's two areas. Got the small area here, which is pretty good for parts and stuff, but the batteries are in the main area in the very back. And look at all those. Kind of wanting the batteries. Maybe we'll do that. See how far these guys are going to chase us down through here. Just go park right here, right in the middle of this place. And luckily, for some reason, right here in the middle, it's fairly quiet compared to up there where we just passed by, anyway. And we'll see if we can make this area nice and peaceful if it's not. Oh yeah, look at there, nice. You gotta like that. Perfect place to stop, I guess. Alright, we don't seem to be overheated with our winter clothes on, so... Yep, 43 degrees. I guess we're okay with that. That's going to work out good. Until we get hit in the back. By the silent zombie. That just got beheaded. And we didn't get infected. Ooh, a dog. He don't see us. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, what the heck? Well, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Oh, man. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Dang, are you going to die or not? Whoa. Trying to pick up all these teeth. Get a reload in. Dude. What are you doing? Come down through there like you're all happy. Now you lost your head. Now we're infected. Okay. That wasn't quite the start I was hoping for. <laughs>
Okay, reload that. And that. Alright, we gotta get our parts out of here for our, our cart. Oh yeah, that's it right there. I know there's a lot of batteries back down in there. I think there's some over here, but there's a lot of parts over here. So let's go for the parts first, I guess. We need parts and the batteries. Neck shot. Man, can you imagine getting sh in a neck like that? Out in the chest. Center mass. Shoulder. Neck. Back of the neck. Right out in the eyeball. Oh. Okay. Maybe we should have brought more ammo. We gotta start getting some headshots, just like that. And that. Save that ammo. He's got a helmet on. Okay. Now, how about a little peace and quiet there? Oh. Well, let him go. Now the fun begins. Nuggets. Yes, there's also a lot of nuggets in here, too. And a lot of toolboxes. A lot of nuggets to make all those ingots we need to make. Uh oh. Oh! Knocked him for a flip. Uh oh. Bad time for a reload. Shot him in the crotch. And shot him in the head. Yep, sometimes I reload too often and it can get you in trouble. Like that. Oh, I forgot to bring the backpacks in the cart. Yep, the good thing we're not too far from the truck. Well, might as well uh, take care of our friends here. Headshot. 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 Did we miss? That didn't. Yeah, I forgot one of the most important parts of this. I should have kept this stuff on me.
Yep, here it is right here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll probably stop getting those toolboxes pretty quick. Oh yeah, we've already used an entire box of ammo. be able to finish the whole thing like we did in single player just for the fact that we're not going to have enough ammo possibly I think we're going to check these buildings here and then go over and head for the batteries Hit me. Oh, man. Where'd they all come from? Yep, there's definitely more zombies on the dedicated server than there is on the single player games. Even with the same settings. There's our batteries or some of them. Yep. That's mostly what I wanted was the uh, uh oh two green ones. Oh, he disappeared. Yep. We're going to be needing some ammo. We may just have to grab the batteries we can and get the heck out of here. He froze. I thought he disappeared, but he froze. Yep, there's no way we can do the entire area with the ammo we have. We can get a bunch of these orange batteries. And still make it out alive. <laughs> We'll be good with that. But, like we did on the single player, when we finish and leave, we'll get all the backpacks out, the cart, put them in the truck. And, uh, leave the cart here and uh, it'll be here for next time we can come back and do the same thing again later but don't have to bring the parts with us to build a cart with there's nothing in this building
Bullet production. And the leg. Took out that hip bone. Took out the right one, then took out the left one. Another one of those dudes up there. Oh! Well, I've got to get out the machete and got the gun instead. Headshot. Yep, this is taking way too much ammo. Guess we can go until we start looking like we're really low on ammo and just leave. Ooh. This building up here has a bunch of uh, lathes in it. I see a runner. Yeah, that's got a lot of parts in these lathes. And maybe a few batteries. There he is. Hey, how you like that? We can get a little piece down through here. We can do a lot of looting right here. Yep, there it is. What the heck was that? That was just weird. Dropping that. Yep, there's some wire that we need. Mm -hmm. Don't think we need that many electric motors. We have to start dropping those too. ever get to where we need an electric motor can always come back for them later right now we need these parts and the batteries oops not the ammo We need all the parts and wire and the batteries. We'll take some toolboxes, but eventually we're going to probably have to.
to leave some of those. I don't know. We don't do the entire place. We probably have space for a good bit of this stuff. Trying to keep the gas for the generator. Keep the gas instead of the electric motors and the toolboxes. Might be a good idea. There we go. Might just be able to build us another windmill or another solar bank eventually. Oh. Unfortunately, all that gas takes up a lot of space. I think this building is actually the only one that had a lot of gas in it. Did we drop the gas on the ground down here? Nope. Oh yeah, they're supposed to be solar, solar panels too. I think they're more on the back side down there. Maybe we should head down there. Yeah, we, we're good on parts here. We can get the three solar panels and a bunch of those orange batteries. And they're going to be down in the other area where there's probably going to be a lot of zombies. So... We're still good on 762. We're a little low on 9mm. Definitely need to be down there doing that part. So we'll just go ahead and head down that way. Don't know if our cart will fit down through here. I think it will. the back part down in that way is less zombies up here in the front corner I know there's a bunch That should be plenty to do the back area down there where we can get the solar panels and a bunch of the orange batteries, hopefully. Alright, if we can get the backpack in there anyway. Alright. Pretty far back here. Be nice if we could hook up our little cart to the truck and just pull it. I thought I heard something. Oh. That was one high jump right there now. The heck is that thing? Man, is this searchable? Just move on. Let them have it there. Uh, 
Oh, man. We need headshots. Oh. And there's a bunch of them down there. Okay, we're still okay on ammo for now. Okay. Oh man, look way down there. Whew. Headshot. Ooh, that head's rolling. That confused her. Just long enough for me to get a headshot. Man. A lot of zombies. She disappeared. That was weird. Oh. Where'd they all go down there? Oh. Can't, okay, maybe they're a little further down than I was thinking they were. He's not. Thank goodness for the silencers is all I can say. Now, if we can get in here and do this one in peace, that'd be good. Come on, hit us up with those orange batteries. Green ones are good. Orange ones are great. Solar panel, that's it. One of the things we were looking for out there. Seriously? I 
think we need the crucible. But I'm not sure if we have one back at base. We'll keep at least one for sure. Oh, man. Oh, you had to go and bite all your friends. We just killed that many down through here. Just a minute ago. Where did they come from? She disappeared. Just hope that means they're dead when they disappear. Don't need them being invisible sneaking up on us, that's for sure. Oh, there, that's what I'm talking about. start getting on bullets we may take what we got and go and we're not too far from it yep we can get a few more orange batteries and green ones out of this building and maybe that next building we'll just take what we get our booty and run got a good bit of parts not as many as I would like to have. Oh, yeah. We might not even have to hit the other building. And those orange batteries are heavy. Yes, electric motors are probably heavy too. get the next building. Holy cow. Or is it those back there where all the stuff was? I think it's back there where the, all the major orange batteries are. I'll try to hit that one. That's good enough to hit headshots every time. that we won't make it out of here we 
even worse when you got your bar out there and you can't see or move right. Wow, that kind of sucked. Okay. Need some carbs. Oh, we're bleeding out and we're infected. For once I looked up and saw it. I don't know if we're going to make it through this next building. Guess the antibiotics dehydrate you. There comes another one. Nobody ask your opinion. I swear I'm still hearing one, but maybe not. Alright, if we can get this building and it's full of orange batteries, we may be done here. And or solar panels. The volume one and twos we don't need. Didn't need all that gas, it's taking up a lot of space. There it is. 300 watt and an inverter. That's what we came for. Solar panels and the orange batteries. Okay. Now let's see if we can get this stuff put away. No, thank you. I'm single player. I picked up everything in here. And did pretty good. And sell this stuff or trade it. I'm trying to little be a little more frugal with our space on this one.
Doing real good here. If we get one more bunch of these orange batteries, we're leaving. And there should be one more solar panel, too. I'm single player. I got a 300 and two 200s on solar panels, I believe it was. I do need all these parts. Also, I hadn't planned on keeping all this gas, but uh, if we can keep it and then put it in that generator, when we get back, we'll be able to charge all these batteries really good. this last building right here. Maybe that's it. I like the one on the other side of the wall here. Question is how many? And I hear a dog. Yep, we're going to be getting low on bullets after this one. Shot between his legs. Is he stuck? I hope so. And uh, get out of sight here, maybe. We'll do pretty good. That's it, right there. That's what I was kind of waiting on. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. This is it. What kind of timing was that? What kind of timing was that? As soon as you get slowed down with a heavy load, three dogs and a zombie right on top of you. That's insane. Now we can't get downstairs. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily... We have, oops, I don't usually use a bow and arrow at all. I think what we're going to do. Take the bow and arrow and the kokuri. And some water. Go back down there and get our stuff. 
and get the heck out of Dodge. Alright. We can do it in 30 minutes. We're going to do it. What the heck is he doing way down there? They're usually not right there. Luckily, there's a way we can go down through here by the river. There shouldn't be any zombies. We're lucky they haven't respawned. Oh, am I hearing one? Am I just hearing things? Yeah, we should be able to go right down through here without getting harassed. Hopefully we can just run right up in there and grab our stuff. Ooh. As soon as we pick it up, we're going to be encumbered. This might be a challenge, after all. If we could pick our stuff up, hook up to the cart and just run, and get out of there. get to a place where we can get organized and loaded. It'd be pretty good. But if we got to pick our pack up and we're encumbered immediately. We're going to have to Make sure we clear the way in to get there. This is going to be interesting. never had a situation where I would have to pick up my pack and be immediately encumbered like that. Can't believe the timing on this. That was crazy. Just as soon as we picked those batteries up and got encumbered, three dogs and a zombie right on top of us. Pretty good little ways down here. Thinking now the bow and arrow was not the right choice. Yep, the bow and arrow was not the right choice. Probably should have just drove the other car down here. I bet my mood's bad. Yep. Running naked in the rain. Going to a certain death. I 
some of those arrows are exploding arrows, so we use them. Probably going to just draw all of them down on top of us. Then again, I've never used the exploding arrows. Maybe we can get a bunch of them bunched up together and blow them up. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. There's too many of them. Probably. Alright, this is it right here. We should try to go in this way. Now, if they didn't respawn, this may be the best way to go in. Because we killed most of them up in this direction. It was the ones from down that other area that came up there and got us, those stinking dogs. Okay, hey, we might get lucky. get our stuff and get organized. We can. We're getting the heck out of here. There's none in here. We're very, very lucky. We just got super lucky. We just got to get these batteries off of us right now. Immediately. Alright, that's it. Oh, you can stay there crawling. We're getting the heck out of Dodge. I've had enough for today. so many were respawning right up through here. When we did this building, they just kept coming in. Hope all these are slow walkers. And we're just getting out of here. Got two solar panels and a bunch of uh, really good batteries. We didn't do as well as we did on the single player one. But the dedicated server games are much harder, apparently. Especially by yourself. Wish some of you guys would come in here and help me. <laughs> Alright, all we need now is a little bit of peace and quiet so we can load the truck. is actually going to be easy because all we got to do is pull these out, throw them in the truck, just like that. Oh, how far did that one bounce? Dang, really? 
Whoa. Truck is loaded. We're going to put the cart right here on the sidewalk. We're going to leave him there for next time. We're getting the heck out of here. We've got our batteries, some solar panels. Cart should be there next time when we decide to do this again. That's something I'm going to start doing is every time I go out on a mission to anywhere that's got any size to it especially, I'm going to take the plank some simple parts to make a cart use it just like we did that just there and then when we leave just leave it and eventually almost every area you want to go loot if you want to re-loot it later well I already have your cart there and just do that I didn't stay nearly as long as I did in the single player game. And then Ed, it turned winter on this. And it was well into winter. Winter when I finished it. Oh, that was close. Whew, made it back. Man, that was crazy. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, other than our mood being a little bit off, we'll just smoke us a stogie here. We'll feel better after that. We need one after that trip. Whew! Man, oh man. All right, we're going to end this stream here. I've been at it all day. My rear ends are sore. I'm a little stressed after that trip anyway. It was fun, though. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. We'll keep doing it. And I'll see you on the next one.